Okay, so self in self inquiry and and, um, and experiencing the eternal, the undying, the everlasting, the, the unlimited. And um, how can we experience that now? Well, one one way to experience that, which is the truth, the truth beyond all limits the truth beyond restriction, beyond duality, beyond separation, is with self-inquiry. And the way to do that is to get a reading right now. So, everything, what are, what are the things that, one, one way to see it is like if one is in a cinema and one is watching a movie, you know, there's suddenly there's cowboys running across the screen, then there's Indians running across the screen, then there's all kinds of drama that goes on on the screen. Is The question would be, is one what's happening on the screen, or is one the observer of the screen? Obviously, it would be, um, it would be a, a misconception, or a misidentification, or a hooking in, um, I'm a hypnotist, and when you become hypnotized by what's on the screen, you believe you are the characters on the screen, and you have no experience of, the, of that which you are, which is observing the characters on the screen. There's no detachment. There's such high identification and, and, and engrossing that one gets enmeshed, or one believes one is the characters. So how can you... How can you release yourself from all illusions? Everything that is witnessed or observed is within the realm of form or the, or the perishable or the changing. So what are the things to look for? Well, one of the things with self-inquiry is to get a reading of what is the experience now. Like, when people use the word I, they often sort of are having some kind of mish mishmash of is it the body, is it the feelings in the body, is it the thoughts, is it images? So, as you're listening to this, just get a reading. Are you experiencing yourself as the physical body, or as a feeling, as passing thoughts, as all of those things? And however you're experiencing yourself, how then what is observing? What is observing those limits? So, if there's passing thoughts, what's witnessing the thoughts? Is the witnesser of the thoughts, is it a thought? Or is it, is it limited? Is that which is witnessing thoughts, is it limited in any way? And if it is limited, what's witnessing that? What about feelings? If feelings are coming, often you'll notice that they fluctuate. Sometimes they get getting a bit bigger or they're getting a bit smaller. But what's observing this fluctuation? Is the witnesser of fluctuating feelings fluctuating? Does it change? So experience this. Access, it's a recognition now, one of the main things with self-inquiry is that if you're used to thinking, you cannot think your way to that which, which observes thoughts. So that which is observing thoughts, you can't think your way there. It's that which watches all thoughts come and go and, it, and cannot be a thought, by definition. So, what about, now check, if there's any images in mind, future, past, is one the image or is one the observer or the witnesses, the witnesser of all images? So as you as you investigate, also what about time? Is there any experiencing of time in this moment at the moment? Does this seem to be a kind of a, a tracking of how many seconds are going by or how much time has elapsed? But then if there is this awareness, what's observing this awareness? What's witnessing 
the experiencing of time and is that which witnesses the experiencing of time is that tracking time is that in time so as you as you do this and as you go to the witnesser check if the witnesser of whatever it is you're experiencing yourself does that is that witnesser limited in any way if it is limited well what's observing that limited observer what about location? Is there an experience of location in this moment? Like, uh, I'm experiencing myself as within a location. If there's experiencing within location, what's observing the experience of location? What witnesses all locations? Is the witnesser of location in location? And if that witnesser of location is in location, what's witnessing that location? And is that in location? So, as you take it back, you're seeing whether that which witnesses all things that change and pass, is that in any way limited, limited by time, limited by feelings, limited by thoughts, limited by the body, limited by location? And if it is, then what's witnessing that? So as you do that, you're starting to recognize more limitless experiencing. And then is the true self the limitless, or, the, or is the true self the limited? What's true? So that is the process of self-inquiry.